வெல்கம் டு குருஜி ஃபிசிக்ஸ் மாடியூல்ஸ் இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் த கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் பிரின்சிபல் ஒர்க்கிங் கண்டிஷன் ஆஃப் மேக்சிமா கண்டிஷன் ஆஃப் மினிமா ஃபார் மைக்கல்சன் இன்டர்ஃபெரோமீட்டர் திஸ் வீடியோ டிஸ்கஸ்இஸ் த மைக்கல்சன் இன்டர்ஃபெரோமீட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன் so before i start my video click the subscribe button then enjoy the video before i discuss the applications of michelson interferometer one concept is very important here suppose distance between m1 and m2 prime is small d and i have moved the mirror m1 through a distance small x so what would be the change in the part difference and how many fringes would be shifted answer is if you ob- observe the part difference equation then what would be the equation part difference equals to 2d cos theta in this equation if d is changed to d plus x so what would be the change in part difference it would be 2x clear and how many fringes have changed the field of view cross the field of view that would be capital n because initially when m1 m2 prime was small d then fringe pattern was at the n- nth fringe small nth fringe and when the distance changes to d plus x then it would be on the n small n plus capital nth fringe that means small n to n plus capital n how many fringes have sh- been shifted capital n clear so if i move the mirror through a distance small x part difference changes by 2x and the number of fringes cross the field of view is equal to capital n and equation of maxima we have written equation of minima we have written they have derived on the previous videos now very first application determination of lambda quite simple step number 1 mirror m2 fixed mirror m1 moving we set the apparatus for circular fringes that is m1 is perpendicular to m2 and we will having circular fringes in the field of view clear step 2 set the cross wire on the central dark spot dark meaning minima condition of minima 2d cos theta equals to n lambda clear now consider the case of normal incidence normal incidence means theta is 0 cos theta is 1 so the equation of minima would become 2d equals to n lambda this is equation number 1 clear come to the step number 3 move the mirror through a distance small x how many fringes crosses the field of view capital n so equation what one would become 2 into d plus x equals to n plus capital n into lambda equation number 2 now if we subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2 last column we have 2x equals to capital n lambda from here you can find out lambda equals to 2x by n so this is the equation for determination of lambda is it clear here x is the distance moved by the mirror m1 you can measure it using micrometer capital n number of fringes that has crossed the field of view you can easily count with the help of microscope on substituting their values we can determine lambda then next application is separation between wavelengths of two spectral lines that is find out lambda 1 minus lambda 2 suppose you have a source of light and you want to measure the difference between its spectral lines that means your aim is to find out lambda 1 minus lambda 2 so what would be the method method is michelson interferometer for this step number 1 is same as the previous slide mirror m1 movable mirror m2 fixed set the apparatus for circular fringes that is 
एम वन पपेनिकुलर टू एम टू क्लियर स्टेप नंबर टू मूव द मिरर एम वन थ्रू इज डिस्टेंस स्मॉल एक्स हाउ मेनी फ्रेंड इज क्रॉस इज द फील्ड ऑफ यू कैपिटल एन दैट मीन्स नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन दैट वी हैव डिराइव ऑन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड वट वॉज द इक्वेशन टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल लेमडा डन Suppose for the wavelength lambda one, capital N fringes crosses the field of view. So that equation would become two x is equal to capital N lambda one. Label it as equation number one. Clear? Now case two for the wavelength lambda two. Suppose capital N plus one fringes crosses the field of view. Clear? So how many? If fringes crosses the field of view, capital N plus one, and that equation would become two x is equal to capital N plus one lambda two. Label this equation as equation number two. Done. In the last step, we would perform only the mathematics that is, compare equation one and two. N lambda one would be equal to N plus one lambda two. Bring the common factor on one side, capital N on one side. We can find out the value of capital N is equal to lambda two upon lambda one minus lambda two. Label this as equation number three. Is it clear? Now we may simply substitute the value of equation number three, that is, value of capital N in equation number one. When you substitute the value. Equation one would become two x is equal to lambda two upon lambda one minus lambda two into lambda one. Clear? So this from here we may find out lambda one minus lambda two by bringing lambda one minus lambda two on one side and all other factors on the other side. We may consider another special case as. Suppose lambda one equals to lambda two equals to lambda average. Suppose we are considering the average value of lambda one and lambda two. So this equation may also be written as lambda one lambda two product would be lambda average into lambda average. That is lambda average square. So equation is two x is equal to lambda average square upon lambda one minus lambda two. From here. Bring lambda one minus lambda two on one side, and equation would be lambda average square divided by two x. So this is the formula for finding out the separation between two spectral lines. That is lambda average square by two x. Now the last application of Michelson interferometer is determination of refractive index of thin film. For this, we have to again consider the figure. Here, let us suppose that I have introduced a thin film whose refractive index is mu and whose thickness is small t in the path of ray number one. Clear? Now, how many times the ray is crossing the thin film that I have introduced? One for the forward journey towards M one. And one for the reverse journey towards glass plate P. That means ray is traveling twice through the thin film that I have introduced in the path of ray number one. Is it clear? If you remember the Fresnel by prism topic, in that topic, how much is the path difference introduced when a thin film is in the path of a beam? Path difference is. Mu minus one into t. Now, if one time the beam has to pass through the pa uh, thin film, par difference introduced is mu minus one into t. Now, here the beam is crossing twice. That means the par difference in changed was twice. Par difference introduced due to thin film is two mu minus one into t. Is it clear? Now. Using this concept, you can find out refractive index of thin film using Michelson interferometer. Clear? So start with the step number one. 
eye piece focused at the central fringe done step number 2 thin film introduced in the path of one of the beams clear part difference introduced by the thin film mu minus 1 into t plus mu minus 1 into t one factor is due to the forward journey second factor is due to reverse journey so the total path difference change would be 2 mu minus 1 into t clear step number 3 suppose this part difference introduced has shifted the fringe pattern through some fringes and i want to bring the fringe pattern back on the same fringe what i have to do i have to introduce a part difference equal to the part difference introduced by the thin film is it clear for introducing a part difference the factor that is in my hand is i can move the mirror suppose i move the mirror through a distance small x so as i have discussed in the previous application if i am moving the mirror through a distance small x what would be the change in the part difference it would be 2x so by moving the mirror through a distance small x part difference introduced 2x due to thin film part difference introduced is 2 into mu minus 1 into t so i may equate these two factors because i want to compensate for the change in part difference that means equation is 2x is equal to 2 mu minus 1 into t now i may keep the factor mu on one side and bring all other terms on the other side we can find out the value of mu by keeping mu on one side and bringing all the factors on the other side equation comes out to be mu is equal to x plus t upon t so this is a method to calculate the refractive index of thin film using michelson interferometer x is the distance moved by the mirror i can measure with the help of apparatus small t thickness of the thin film that i have introduced so i must know the value of small t on substituting the value of small x and small t in the equation i can determine the refractive index of thin film then with this application section the complete topic of michelson interferometer has been discussed thanks our next video will be on fresnel biprism so for more updates of the upcoming videos click the subscribe button and then enjoy the videos thank you thank you so much